have committed to the people of Kenya, and we will hit the ground running because uh, we are aware of what we need to do. I will also be putting a call to uh, my worthy competitors, beginning with uh, Raila Odinga, my uh, worthy competitor, with his Azimio team, so that we can begin to contextualize how we are going to work together for the people of Kenya. Those of us who will be working from the executive and the Azimio team who will be working from the opposition. And as I committed, as I committed to the people of Kenya, I believe in the rule of law. I do not believe in the handshake stories. I believe, I believe in an accountable government held to account by a responsible opposition. That is how Kenya is going to move forward. Uh, and, and so I look forward to a conversation on how they will hold us to account and make sure that we deliver on the commitments that we have made to the people of Kenya and public resources are put to good use in an accountable manner and so that we can reap the benefits of what the people of Kenya have done in electing us into, uh, into office. Um, we will then be working with all the other people as we, as we get down to uh, um, doing what we committed to the people of Kenya that we do. I know there is huge expectation. Many people are texting me and asking, when is the Hustler Fund going to be launched? <laughs> many people are asking me, many farmers want to know when subsidized fertilizer will be available so that they can get on with the journey or with the business of growing food for us so that we can reduce the cost of living. Many farmers are asking when we are going to begin the journey on agro-processing and value addition. Many people across Kenya want to know when we are going um, to begin our housing program. I want to commit that uh, as soon as we are sworn into office, in fact, beginning tomorrow, I will be working with the people in government offices so that by the time we get sworn in, we will have um, work to do and begin the process of implementing our plan. Uh, let me say uh, to all of you, I know many people have come here, I know many members of parliament are here, many governors are here, many senators are here, members of county assemblies. Let me take this opportunity in a very special way to recognize our legal team. led by senior counsel Fred Ngatia and senior counsel Kiyoko Kilukumi and senior counsel Kirago and all and of course my chief agent and team leader of the legal team Professor Abraham Kidure Kindiki. <laughs> and all the senior lawyers here, let me not mention all their names. Uh, we had the best legal team anybody could assemble. And we are very proud of you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for protecting our victory and for doing your bit. I remember when I talked to, it, to them, I told them those of us who are politicians have done our bit. 
we handed over the button to them, and I told them they should not drop the button. And uh, they brought it home in one piece, and we want to celebrate them. To Wapige Makofi Jameni Let me also say, for good record, that these great men and women, our legal team, volunteered their services for free. It is amazing that they said this is a patriotic duty they are doing for their country. And they were going to donate their time, their intellect, their professionalism to make sure that they do that is what is right for Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely appreciate on behalf of the Kenya Cancer team your sacrifice your contribution and your commitment to this journey. Asante Nisana. Of course, there are many volunteers. <clears throat> there are many volunteers who came across. There are many people who supported us in many ways. There are many people who contributed merchandise. Many people contributed resources of all types, uh, merchandise, airtime, um, equipment, transport, uh, and it was just amazing. Uh, we, we ran a campaign. Many people believed that I was very organized. But I want to tell you, it was, <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> Everybody made a contribution. That's why the whole thing looked seamless. We didn't have to push nobody to do nothing. Everybody did what they were supposed to do without asking. So I want to say thank you very much uh, to our team. I want to announce that this marks the end of the politics of deceit and the politics of betrayal and the politics of conmanship. It is the end. We want the politics of the Kenya of the future. Every leader must be held to account on what they say, and they must match what they say with what they do. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, that with the opportunity God has given us, we want to have a country based on the rule of law. As my deputy has said, the criminal justice system will be reserved for fighting criminals and criminality and making sure that public resources are protected and criminals are brought to book. The criminal justice system will never be used again for political reasons. Let me say it again. The criminal justice system will never be used again against those who have a contrary view, political view, to ours. I want our competitors to rest assured that though the rest of us have been subjected to threats, blackmail, intimidation, and unnecessary fights, I commit that under our administration, nobody will be vilified or victimized or prosecuted for holding a contrary political view from ours. This is a democratic country, and we want to remain so. Our competitors have nothing to fear like the way many of our supporters have had everything to fear for being our friends or for holding a contrary view from those.